as outlined by the Thousand Brains theory, each cortical column can learn complete models by itself. But in a normal setup, we usually don't just sense um, the tiny picture of the world. We don't only sense with the tip of our finger or a small patch on our retina, but we have lots of sensations coming in all the time and lots of uh, cortical columns receiving input. And all of them are going to have hypotheses uh, of what they're sensing. Um, like which objects, at what locations in the world they think they might be sensing, and they can communicate with each other about these hypotheses to quickly narrow down those. And when we say voting, it's not like there's some kind of central place where all of the votes are collected and counted. It's more that there are a bunch of associative connections between cortical columns, and they learn to correlate, and that association can help them in the future to, again, do a faster inference on that object. And in terms of this um, paper, one type of long-range connections that are clearly not um, hierarchical are these long-range connections between the same layer, so for example, between neurons in layer 2 or layer 3. Um, and those connections can be within a cortical region, like within V1, they can go across hemisphere from left to right hemisphere, they can even go um, between modalities. and. Um, this is the theory we propose for these kind of uh, lateral long-range long connections. By the way, it didn't make sense in most other theories. It's, it's kind of hard to explain, you know, how does the part of the brain that gets primary input from the, the first part of the brain that gets input from the eyes, V1, and the first part of the brain that gets input from the skin, S1, you know, what would they have to say to each other? Most theories would say, not much, because you have to go up the hierarchy. But the Thousand Brain Theory, in, in this paper, we explain that, no, they actually can talk to each other. They can vote. <laughs> And so one of the surprising conclusions of our theory is, is that um, uh, even the low levels of the cortex are recognizing complete objects. Um, and now that if you know that, you could find all kinds of evidence for it, which we point out in the paper.